all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shah is from the world and nearly calls Jesus Christ his true name. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for ruling and teaching well in the scriptures, and salutations to all you walking out there that pushes war in all truth and all sincerity. I'm going to do a scripture of the day. Uh, we're going to get into the book of Sirach, chapter 25. We're going to start at verse 10 and we're going to read down to verse uh, 12. Now uh, it says, Oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom. Yet is there none above him that feareth the Lord? And the reason why it states that is it, it, it's a beautiful thing when a man findeth wisdom. And why is that? Because the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is above all earthly wisdom, okay? This properly teaches you how to rule a to rule a kingdom, okay? In all aspects. Because this covers every aspect of life, whether it be health, whether it be uh, um, a, how to deal with the situation between brethren, and, and basically how to govern yourself properly, okay? And it says, yet is there none above him that feareth, that feareth the Lord? And the reason why it says that uh, right there is because it says in, uh, in Proverbs 1, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, okay? And once you get this wisdom, uh, once you get that knowledge, you you get uh, you get understanding of, uh, of of life basically, okay? Why things are the way they are, and and, uh, and basically how uh, things are supposed to be uh, run properly, okay? Verse eleven. But the love of the Lord passeth all things for for illumination. He that holdeth it, where where to shall he be like it? All right, like exactly. Because it's asking a question there. He that holdeth the wisdom, okay, in the love of the Lord, and he that have love of the Lord, who, who can be likened unto him, all right? And, and there's no one that can be compared to a man of the Lord, okay? Nobody. All right, that's why uh, uh, brethren stand out so much, okay? It's because we have a, a, a righteous conduct, which is not... Uh, Unknowing to, to, to basically this uh, uh, entire world, the heathens are for, are for sure not going to get it, and two thirds of our own people aren't, aren't going to get it. Okay, so you know we we, we bring a uh, a very strong uh, presence. Okay, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shimei Shai says that in uh, Ecclesiastes eight that uh, wisdom maketh a, a man's uh, face to shine. Okay. And it changes his continence. Alright. And I'm going to go uh, read verse 12 now. It says, uh, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of, of his love. And faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So the, the, once you start uh, fearing Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, that's when he begins to love you, okay? That's when he reveals his secrets unto, the, unto you, okay? Which is this wisdom, alright? Hey, because uh, this... This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is not given to, uh, to to the masses, okay? It's for a select group of men to uh, understand this word, all right? And uh, and it says, um, and faith is the beginning. Um, faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Because once you start um, having faith, you will start cl uh, cleaving unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh more. You, you, you pray... For, for proper uh, guidance, okay? You pray for your steps to be, uh, um, to go into the right path. You pray for everything, okay? Because you understand that you have no power. And the only the only power that you have is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And He grants everything, okay? He grants the, uh, whether man be rich or poor, whether he have life or death, whether he be in a low position or a high position, okay? It tells you that in uh, the the, the, uh, the book of uh, 1 Samuel, the uh, second chapter, okay? And also, uh, I believe that there's another uh, um, precept in Sirach that tells you about that, okay? So I just wanted to do a quick lesson on that, and uh, hopefully you all can be edified. And uh, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim Shalom.